Greta Thunberg's Horoscope, a video created, directed, and presented by Reverend Dickie Joe Mullen. In this video, Dr. Mullen will overview uh, Greta Thunberg's natal chart and the implications for her wonderful career as she has started sharing information about global warming and the dangers it presents to all of us. This is astrologer and paranormal investigator, Reverend Dr. Dickie Joe Mullen in Orlando, Florida, with a special celebrity horoscope for you. Every once in a while, someone is born who's dubbed a wise child. That means an individual who doesn't have a childhood, but who's born an adult. Some examples would be Joan of Arc, Queen Elizabeth I, and some of the great composers and poets, John Keats, would be an example. And one of those in today's world that has a lot of attention and a lot of controversy and is a tremendously influencing individual is Greta Thunberg, who was born January 3rd of 2003 in Stockholm, Sweden. She's a young environmentalist who wants to really act on the subject of climate change and make concrete results happen, not just nice words, to quote her. She's the student who's been credited with raising global awareness of climate change, which she calls the climate crisis. And all alone, she's ignited a global-led youth movement of students that want to save the planet for the future. Some time back, she sailed to New York in order to not take an airplane, which is uh, leaving a large carbon import, on a solar-powered sailboat in order to speak to the United Nations and offer her concrete plan. She was met by an adulation of crowds of people of all ages. Time magazine has called Greta the next generation leader. Her father um, is an actor in Sweden, and her mother and sister are opera singers. In 2011, at the age of eight, Greta changed. She developed um, symptoms of autism, Asperger's syndrome. Now, whether she had had it all along or it manifested is uncertain, but this correlated when she came very depressed about the planet Earth and began, began to be aware of pollution and climate change and the damaging of resources in our environment. She became so depressed that she wanted to demonstrate and her family let her drop out of school because she was showing such extreme signs of mental illness they wanted her to be happy as a school dropout rather than mentally ill as a student which is interesting they were very supportive and allowed her to protest and at the um, Swedish Parliament and it made her happy to do this she would hold up signs about reducing the carbon footprint at this time, um, she is a very, very strong Capricorn, and Saturn was squaring its natal place, which is a real life passage. It happens at about age seven to eight to all of us. It's a critical turning point in elementary school and mental development. Greta is a double Capricorn. She has the sun and moon in the sign of Capricorn, and she was born at the new moon. The new moon people um, are those that are very focused, that do well and become a symbol if they stick to what they're good at, but they will falter if they try to diversify. Her mercury, the mind, is stationary, which is very interesting. It's neither retrograde nor direct, which is rather rare, and it is quincunx the planet Saturn, and in mutual reception with her natal Saturn, which is in Gemini and retrograde. This is a very complex pattern involving her mind and her focus in life. She has a Venus-Mars conjunction in Scorpio, the sign of survival, life, and death. 
Venus, the cultural planet, Mars, the energy planet, conjunct, give tremendous charm and, and very influential when they're together in a birth chart. Um, Greta went on a strike from the ninth grade until the Swedish general elections and the secretary general acknowledged her strikes. And she went to, on to Europe to address the Belgian parliament, the government in Berlin, and became a 2019 candidate for the Nobel Peace Prize. British Vogue selected her on the advice of the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, to appear on the cover of the magazine as Young Role Model of the Year. Native Americans honored her and in a strange world where students must sacrifice their own education, Greta continued to draw, draw crowds around the planet, mass walkouts of school-aged children in many, many countries followed her in her wake. And one, um, one news reporter addressed her autism, asking her how, because she had Asperger's syndrome, she could expect to do anything. And this is just brilliant. She said, it helps me to focus. It's the source of my power. Now, I don't know anyone at 15 years old who could come up with that very easily. And um, it completely stopped the reporter in his tracks. <laughs> And Greta continues, all is not bright and beautiful here, though. The topic of climate change and saving the planet, changing the status quo, doesn't appeal to everybody. And there are individuals who are enemies of her. There were effigies of her strung at one rally in Europe, um, hanging her in effigy from poles. And then also there was um, the story of a teacher who was fired from his job somewhere in the United States by when she arrived to do a presentation, repeated that he wished he had had a rifle, a sniper's rifle, to several students. And of course the rumor went out, he ended up losing his job, but it was symbolic of the danger that she might be in. She is um, just passing her Saturn opposition to its natal place, which, which occurs at about age 14 to 15 in the natal birth chart. And that's a time period where many people have to encounter bullies and other problems. And she's passed through that opposition, but there are very dire influences in her life throughout 2020 and 2021. And the possibility of her becoming a martyr with this birth chart would be very likely. Let's put a lot of light, positive energy around Miss Greta because I happen to be a fan of hers. Not afraid to admit that, but studying this chart, um, it's just quite a phenomena. Um, we don't have a birth time for her. With other astrologers, I've tried every usual avenue and can't. So the horoscope you'll be looking at is a noon chart, and it averages out the planetary positions. They're all correct by sign, though. Um, even the moon didn't change signs during that time period. Her Jupiter, the planet of religion and philosophy, is in Leo. And of course, she's very dramatic, very lion-like in the way she expresses herself. She has two Aquarius planets, Uranus and Neptune, which are futuristic and show an interest in humanity. The strong earth element is her tie with the earth, the Capricorn placements. In addition to the sun, moon, and Mercury, she also has Chiron, the planet of learning and healing in Capricorn. Her Pluto is in Sagittarius. Um, Pluto is transformative. It's a generational influence. In Sagittarius, it's crossing many different planets. It's kind of a global influence that permeates many languages and countries. Her north moon node in Gemini, the north node is the one that we work toward, shows that 
communication and education are very important elements for her to work toward. So I hope you've enjoyed the study of a most intriguing and fascinating young person, Greta Thunberg, born January 3rd, 2003 in Stockholm, Sweden.